Okay, so what did you tell me? We got 17, uh, 13 and 16 gallons. About uh, 29 gallons total of fuel. That is correct. Okay, so with uh, 10 gallons, we're out here for three hours approximately. We want an hour of reserve. It's going to be dark when we get back anyway. And we're only going to ditch intersection, right? Correct, yes. So yes. what are we going to be out for, 1.2 or something? 1.2, that's correct. Okay, so um, do me a favor. Close your window because your uh, your check ride stuff is going to blow. Okay. So I'm going to get your radio uh, and your weather so you don't have to fool around here. Radio's on. Eight one zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature 1-1 one, one Celsius. Dew point minus zero one Celsius. Altimeter three zero zero one. Remarks. Zero, Into the zero, altitude one. minus five hundred. Automated weather observation one niner four three Zulu. Wind calm. Visibility one zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature one one Celsius. Dew point minus zero two Celsius. Altimeter three zero zero one. Remarks. Density altitude minus five. Wow, I just set the flight plan to a place in China. By Automated accident. weather <laughs> observation. One. I don't think the fuel is going to last. Turkey, Turkey, Turkey. I guess there's two airports with this name. Still going there. I'm going to clear this out. But uh, heading to get a set flight instruments. Flight instruments. Good. Wow, look at this. It wants to go to China now. <laughs> or someplace. I don't know where that is. How am I? Flying, radio, flying audio traffic, radio check. Radio check. Okay, so that's it. Let's see. There we go. I'm going to test my brakes. Do you want to test your brakes? I'll check when we get up. When we get moving here, I'm good for the moment. Okay, before tech list. Tax checklist complete. We have all those in there. And uh, let's go to our drone. Okay. We are heading over toward ditch somewhere, right? Or maybe yeah. even coil, whatever you want to do. But well, coil will be the right place where to do the the 360. I mean, we, we can practice soft landing on. Oh, uh, we're going to do some of that before we leave just to okay. warm up. So let's do a couple of those um, Here? Okay. no flap landings since you did a couple on your check ride without. Um, so we'll just go do one with, um, what do you got, 30 in this plane? We'll do... Because Gene didn't check off just regular landing, so I want to see some really nice lined up. None of this forgot the rudder. Okay. So let me ask you this. Will then, will then, should then we do first the soft field and then the no flaps to guarantee that we will have time to? Um, well, you got to do them all anyway, but you can do it. You can do any order you want. Okay. I don't think. Like, you only, I think you're. I think you only have one more soft field okay. landing to do, so you can go ahead and do that. Okay. Because I, I don't think with him I had to do the no flaps anymore. I did that with him. No, he didn't do any no flaps according to what he checked off. Okay. But, you know, I'm not that worried about the no flap landing. I just want to see your checklist because sure. that's what happened. You got really flustered and you didn't do your normal gumps check with flaps and switches. Okay. But it's going to calm down. There's no rush today. You're, okay. You've are you got like one or two little things to sure. do here. Let's do the no flaps then first and then we do the... But, uh, uh, the, the, the soft feel and then the no flaps. Okay. Prefer. All right, so uh, let me engine road parking brake is set. Cabin doors and windows are closed. Elevator will stand for the uh, trim. First for the go, flight controls. Uh, okay, so we got a camera running. Goes. I think we have good audio if today. You the check, seems to be good. Uh, mixer, reach traffic, Turkey crosswind, eight South Jersey. Um, throttle, seventeen hundred. Find every traffic, Navajo turning right crosswind, uh, runway one. Okay.
mixture of eight south, two two fingers. Traffic, Tracy, turning downwind eight, and south, magnetos. One, two. One, two. One. One. A suction gauge is in the green. Engine instruments, they are good. And uh, ammeter is positive. Car heat. Car heat is good. Um, south Susie traffic, Turkey departing the pattern to the south. And back to a thousand. Uh, throttle friction lock adjust. And parking brake release. Run up checklist complete. Let me do my before takeoff. Flaps as required. Mixture um, is uh, rich. Car heat is off. Lights as required. So we have our. Uh, Navigation and let's do our stop too. So um, it's probably not a great idea to have the taxi and the takeoff light on at the same time, just because they don't really do anything together. So we'll get rid of one because we we don't need a taxi light. Okay. Fuel valve is in bot. Head indicator recheck. So zero. Right where it's supposed to be, right? Zero one zero. Yeah, having it transponder twelve hundred and altitude. Did Gene show you his little trick with the uh yes, with the lights, yes. No, not with the lights. Uh what was your wind? Before takeoff uh check minus it. zero two yes, Celsius. Said. Altimeter three zero zero one. Remarks. Density zero. altitude minus five hundred. Automated weather observation one niner four niner Zulu. Wind calm. Oh. Visibility. Yeah, I never saw anybody do that. He puts the wind in here, yeah. and then he says, yeah. any runway on the top half. That's yeah. obvious, pretty obvious, right? Yeah. But um, and he also says that this this is one switch. Either it's on or off. Somehow. Both of them? Yeah. He, he likes uh, either both of them on or both of them off. Oh, well, so whenever you're below 3,000 feet in the vicinity of any airports, it, FAA says leave them on now. Yeah. But, um... Running with the taxi light and the uh, landing light, I don't know. Okay, I don't see anybody in the pattern, do you? Uh, no, there's a couple people. Okay. Let's just see where we are. They're all heading away, it looks like. Okay. Um, we got somebody on the right side. Sounds good. I don't know where they're going, but yeah, I think you're good. The last plane just departed. Okay. Flying W traffic, Skyhawk 62862, taking off from runway 1 and staying on the pattern, Flying W. I was missing flying. <laughs> What's that? I was missing flying. Yeah, I know. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, it feels good. Entering runway one. 3,400 feet remaining. Yeah, I forgot my cable today, so... I don't have the alerts today. All right, I am ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh. Brief the runway. Got wind from your left. Light wind and wires at about 350 uh, mile off the runway. Okay. Just Airspeed. stay out of the wires in the trees, I'm happy. Airspeed is alive. Airspeed is alive. instruments are on the green. Just get it. off, there you go, that yeah. just takes, oh, very nice, look at you, flying again. Rotation, look at this. Trying to reach BY. Come on, man. Reaching BY. Okay. Go BY. Okay, so there are some guys around South Jersey, so let's just have a look back and forth and nobody coming in. Republic Airlines jet to your left, but he's way high. So you're all set. Let me be sure that I have traffic enabled here. I did not, so thank you for that. 500 feet, I think I can start mine. Turn and maintaining BY too. And the atmosphere really changed. It was never it great. It wasn't great today, but it's just not crystal clear on the horizon. But you do, you have enough horizon to do your steep turns, no problem, yeah. right? Yep. You, the, the, 
What's that? Over traffic, uh, Cherokee's on 638, on left downwind, runway 4. Over. Uh, the uh, um, ceiling it was going to be 6,000 feet. Yeah, there's a lot of moisture uh, down low. I mean, it's so hot out right now compared to uh, what it could be, right? It could be snowing. Yeah. I'm going to keep this heat off. If your feet get cold, let me know. Sure. People are playing golf today, of course, because it's so nice out. Christmas Eve, what is it? 45, 50? Yeah. Can't, can't beat that. So, car heat, um, no, it's on, and gas is Car heat is not off. Oh, it's you're going to do, yeah. on, okay. Yeah. You're going to do and a landing yeah. here, I forgot. And other carriage is fixed, and mixer, reach in. Look at the runway. Um, zip, propeller, uh, propeller, and, um, yeah, propeller is uh, in power, power set, propeller is fixed, and seat belts and switches are good. And flaps. So I mean the yep. green, my ten notch of flaps. First. Over traffic, church, You're in the white. Juliet, Another white. Base, yeah. Over. So, which one are we doing first? We're gonna do the soft landing first. Okay. Good. Flying W traffic, Skyhawk six two eight six two, turning base runway one. Flying W. So I know Gene told you you don't have to pull back too far, but in a real soft field, you that thing to. has to be in your chest or you're never yeah. you're never gonna land. Over traffic, Cherokee zero six two. Second notch of flaps. So I think your power setting is a little bit low, but you can do it however you want. Yeah. It just feels like we're not going to make it to the runway. Yeah, I will adjust as needed. Okay. Flying W traffic, it's got 6262, turning final runway one, flying W. So just watch your nose is coming up again. Mm -hmm. A little bit too high. Okay, so just walk me through this. All right, so I'm going to do my regular landing, except that once I, I determine that I'm close to the flare, um, I'm gonna, and I put my, my main wheel uh, down, then I'm going to put a little bit of power. Uh, Just a touch. And a touch of power. To keep us moving forward instead right. of dropping into soft grass. Yes. And then I'm going, after I do that, I'm going to, um, See if you can put, slow down a start. little bit more here. Just lift, maybe just lift the nose just a hair. There you go. And because we want to touch down as slow as possible. There you go. This looks good. This looks really good. Nothing wrong with this. Go ahead and just do it. Um, and I want to see nice straight down the runway. Rudder, aileron. Where's the right rudder though? That wasn't bad. I like this. Let's just t do a touch and go. I got the plane. Good plane. Very nice. Thank you. We'll do another one of those, but that was good. Okay, thank you. I think you got the, the hang of that. Keeping that nose wheel. All right, six, okay, six. so flaps are zero. Can you confirm that? Yeah. I'm going to get us out of here. We'll just do a uh, VX climb out of here. Flaps are up, and that's even a little more than VX. Yeah. Let's pick up some airspeed. You got carb heat off. Flaps are zero. Yep, flaps are zero. Positive rate of climb, Correct. and this thing is just not climbing. I'm going to give it back to you and you My can plane. get the VY. Let's do a, um, let's just do one with, uh, you just did one with full flaps. So you know what that feels like. Yes. So the trick with the um, no flap landing or 10 or, you know, normally we do 10, 0, 10, 20, 30 or backwards from 30, 20, 10, 0, just so you can feel it. So maybe we'll do one um, with 20 degrees. 10 degrees and then zero, just so you know. So when, when we put the flaps in, it actually allows the plane to pitch down 
once, once it gets established, it allows the nose to drop so that you can actually see the runway. And it also is gonna slow us down. It's a huge amount of drag, and it also provides a lot of lift. And it provides stall protection in the last two turns, right? Correct. Our load factor uh, changes with the flap. Our stall speed is lowered with the flap. So we're not gonna have that protection. So we're gonna be really careful in the downwind to base and base the final turn that we don't get slow with very little flaps in. So which one do you want to do first? We can do a 20. Let's do 20. Okay. So So you're going to notice that the plane is going to be a different pitch attitude. I got to get rid of this thing. I play. Um, it's going to be a different pitch attitude on the approach and there's you got to slow the plane down. So um, air uh, Power controls altitude and pitch is going to control airspeed. So you may have to trim your nose up a little bit. We'll see what happens. All right. So just get us on final with, what did we say? 10 or 20. We'll start with 20. Yes, 20. So we're not going to go any further than 20. And then we'll do we'll do a 10 and a zero. When you get to zero, you're going to see that the issue is we're going to be using the whole runway. We're going to be touching down. Plane to traffic, Cherokee down low, uh, there's a risky turn and downwind for 0 1 to Plane to traffic, Sky 6262 on the downwind for runway 1, flying W. And the car heat is, um, gas is in both undercarriage is fixed, uh, mixer, rich aim, and power and, and, um, and propeller. Uh, power is set, propeller is um, fixed. fixed. And uh, seat belts and switches, we're good. Uh, so, so, flaps. Flaps. So we're in the white arc. We're going to use 10 here, and we'll do 10 on our right base. And then you got nothing else to go, so you got to find some way to get us slowed down to 65. So we'll work on that a little bit. Okay. It's not complicated, so. Flying W traffic, it's got 6262, turning base. From way one, flying W. So we're going to be a little bit high here. Mm -hmm. You might want to start working on that right now. There you go. So now we're actually at the right altitude. So my advice would be just lift up those a little bit. Flying W traffic, is going 6262, turning final runway one, flying W. Yeah, and keep an eye on that, uh, looking for final traffic because somebody came blasting yeah. down there the other I was day. With you. you were with me when that happened. Yeah. Okay, so now you don't have any more flaps. So, one thing you can do is just. Um, well, I'm, I'm playing with my power here. Yeah, but we don't want to be going too fast, so it's going to be hard to get below 70 knots right here. So, one thing you can do is take a little power out. And you'll see that the um, speed might slow down a little bit. You might even have to lift your nose a little. We still want to try and land on like the second stripe. So this all looks good, though. I think the really important thing is just to realize you don't have that drag in, so you got to use your throttle. This looks good, though. Descent rates a little bit steeper than normal, so just make sure you use your power. So there's 60. You're doing this perfectly. You can even turn this into a soft field landing. Why don't you do that now that you okay. made this looks really good. Make it make it into a soft field. Get over to the center line a little bit. It's okay, keep the nose up and a little bit of right rudder. I'm not touching anything. Nice. Good. I like that one. That was a double. Thank you. Okay, flaps are zero. I have the plane. Carb heat is off. Mixture is full rich, full throttle, and what's our air speed is air 50. Air speed is 55 now. So Let's get out of here, and this will be just a nice VY. I'm going to give you the plane back. My you plane. got the wheel brakes. Yep. Your plane. My plane. So We're I'm about 73. What do we need to be, 76? 78. 78? No, 76. Okay. Navajo, eight and a half so miles on the RNAV 1, uh, straight into runway 1, full stop on the traffic. Flying W62862, touch and go, departure leg, and uh, we'll watch out for the Navajo. Okay, um, sorry, what were you looking for? 78 and 76. Uh, 76. Where, where is it? Yeah, I here. saw it, I saw it, 76, you're right. 
Yeah, oh, come on, man. We've been doing this for yeah. two years yeah, now. Um, okay, so we have a, nav a Navajo on our Nav 1, so we're going to yield to him. If you want, we can just go out and uh, pick this up on the way back so we don't have to... Uh, let's do that. Let's go to the beach. Yeah, let's that was a good landing, though. Thank you. I am never going to get rid of this Hold stupid thing. Keep an eye out for traffic while I'm doing this. Absolutely. Okay, I'm clear if you need to do anything. Nobody on the uh, South Jersey final, right? Nope. Just be really careful here because people have gotten killed really close to this spot. Paul, can you give me a heading? Heading to ditch will be... Um, it's going to basically be 180 degrees straight off of uh, runway. Like something like 173. We just have to be really careful because you got the guy, the Navajo's coming in here on the RNAV, so we want to be careful of him. Yeah. Where is he? He's about, I don't know, four miles out. 3.1, about three and a half miles, 4.1. 3.9 something, so I can't see him. We just don't want to get anywhere in the runway environment on runway one there. Sure. Uh, life is good. We just uh, find a beach traffic, Skyhawk 62862. We're right downwind. We're going to depart the pattern and we'll yield to the Navajo. We're southbound. Find of the traffic, uh, Roger that, uh, copy, Navajo is a three and a half miles on RNAV-1, uh, straight and full stop, runway one, find of the traffic. All right, so I'm 500. Um, yeah, just give me a small turn to the left because I don't want, I want him to be able to finish his instrument, keep, yeah. keep coming a little bit more. That's what I was going to say, that I'm 500 beyond the pattern attitude, now I can depart the pattern. I just don't want him to uh, think we're going to encroach on his approach here. He's coming so up. So our nap is uh, part of the instrument, right? Yeah, he's doing a uh, GPS approach right here. I don't see him yet. And I'm starting to get a warning. Do you see him anywhere? He should be no. right in here. No, I don't see him. He's really That's close. Oh, there he is. There he is down low over there. Yeah, he's about three and a half miles down low. There he is down low over there. He looks like an insect. See him? He's right. Yes, I see. Go. Okay. So we're just heading out here. What do we got to do? A couple steep turns and... I'm going to go to 3,000. Are you okay with that? Yeah, I like 3,000. I'm, I'm not a fan of doing anything below 3,000 feet. Okay. Do them at 10,000 if you want. <laughs> Still, it's at 6,000, so... I have to go home and eat dinner. I don't, I don't want to be doing anything below. Navajo is at one mile straight in, runway one. I'm going to turn this radio up. Let's go over to McGuire real quick. Is that okay? That's perfect. One, two, six, four, seven, five. Man, we were out here this morning and there was a gigantic house fire. Like, right down in here, somebody's house caught on fire. And oh, that sucks. There was like 50 fire trucks there. It was a bad fire, too. You could tell, like, the whole house got destroyed. It looked like a forest fire. It was so big. Did you know that back in the colony time, if you wanted uh, firefighter service, you had to pay them? Back in where? In the oh, colony. Oh, yeah, yeah. Benjamin, Benjamin Franklin. Yeah. Started that stuff. Yeah, well, think about it. First insurance company, right? Yeah. But the insurance was actually to put the fire out back then, not to replace your belongings so exactly. much. Exactly. You will have to have a plate that said that you work over yep. to get service. If you really have a... In, in Cigna, in Philadelphia, they have the uh, original fire trucks and everything from the... Uh, I don't know if they're from 1700s. I think they might be. But if you go around Philadelphia in Old City, you can still see all the old plates on the wall. Pretty good idea. You know, somebody's house burned down like once a week probably back then. Yeah. Because they were burning candles and cooking with wood stoves exactly. and coal oh. and oil and grease. And exactly. They fall asleep with a girlfriend and some wine and, and they're smoking the, the pipe yep. and they're playing with candles. And yep. You got it. 
girlfriends all naked, right? <laughs> ben Franklin. Ben Franklin, that's correct. I was reading some biography of his, and you know, they talk about he used to go to sleep at like. Check card 180 contact, York approach 128.55. After point. dinner, and then they would wake up at like midnight and go and party for three or four hours and see his girlfriend and then come home and sleep again. Because <laughs> there was nothing to do. Yeah. Well, the guy was freaking his part, so. Seems like it. Yeah. Use a bit. Work hard and party hard. You should have seen this fire this morning, man. Somebody's, somebody got totally screwed. All right, so uh, I'm gonna turn this heat down just a little. So you gotta get enough horizon to pull this off, right? It's not yeah. so great. No, it's not so great to the south. Sirius 92, Papa Fox, Squad approach the Maguire, it's limited 3001. 3001, I'm just gonna set that for you. Um, so there's no traffic out here, so we'll just listen to Maguire if that's okay with you. Sure. I don't need to uh, have another distraction here, unless you want to talk to them for some reason. No, no. So, uh, the, are you okay with using 150 as my reference for my... You can do whatever you want. I would find a nice 1.0. Uh, 150. 150, yeah. Okay, just, not even 150. I mean, I would find something you can use to roll out let's, on. Let's, or do, let's do one... Uh, two, Papa Fox, I mean, if you want to use it, that's fine. There's uh, Atlantic City right there. There's two Papa Fox, right? Would you be able to make that climb at about one zero miles when you're in my airspace? Yep, that's fine. Cool. Uh, so we're just outside of Philly's uh, Bravo shop, so uh, uh, might want to go just a little bit further. And then you're actually yeah, coming up on the actually coming up on okay, ditch intersection okay. right now, so this is good. We're not going to encroach on anyone's airspace here. I'll keep an eye out for traffic, and you can do your thing. So, pre-maneuver checklist is fuel. So you yeah. can start that right now. Yeah, so Fuel's fuel, on both, mixture's fuel, full rich, fuel tanks, tanks indicate yep, full, yep. and you have no fuel pump in the Cessna, so you don't have to worry about that. Electrical, yep. you want to make sure your lights are on, your yeah. circuit breakers are in, that you're not discharging or charging on your ammeter, and that your alternator yep. light is not on. And I would just double check your master switches on, and radios all look good, so yeah. that's all good, right? Yeah. Everything and then there's no gear in the back that's going to hit us in the head doing steep turns, doors and windows are locked, seat belts are on, and the last thing is what? Uh, let me do a clear turn. That's the last thing. Okay. Even though a steep turn is a clearing turn, we wouldn't want to use that as a clearing sure. turn. So the first thing that, I, that I'm going to be doing is I think I'm going to get my heading indicator to the proper side. So it's one nine, uh, that's one seven. Uh, what do you think? It's a one, seven, five, can I go? That is a one, six, five, actually. One, six, five. This is one, six, five. Okay, one, six, five. Now it's one, six, one. One, one, one six, six, zero you're on right now. So there you go. Six, zero. One, six, zero. And I would just use, like, maybe Atlantic City or that, okay. some part of that river as your, because it's, you don't have a great okay, horizon. so yet. I'm going to try to use that turn in the river, let me get, let me see what, what that is. And that is, I would say, the big, gonna, the big gray spot in the middle. Uh, it's going to be one, uh, it's one point zero now. Yeah, I'm going to do one point one, just be aware, you're going to lose your you're going to lose your DG in steep yeah. turns. So, right, so I would just find a good visual reference point. I'm going to use that turn right there in front of me. So where the two yeah, rivers come it, together? It, correct, yeah. Got it. Okay, so, I'm good with that. That's approximately, I think, 160. Let's get some steep. And, uh, uh, well, clearing uh, turns first. I'm going to clear my turn first, uh, 160. So let's do... Because we don't do these pretty soon, we're going to be in Atlantic City airspace. If you just do a, a gentle 360, that's a clearing turn. Then you can come back out on this heading and start your okay, start the real deal. Checking for traffic, nothing. Yeah. Yeah, and to be honest, I mean, we we got some great uh, awareness with the ADSB now yeah. that we did we would have not had get the moisture in here that we wouldn't have had you know 50 or 60 years ago, right? Yep, I agree. So technically we just got to do a 90 left, 90 right, or you can do a 180, or you can do a 360. Let's do a 360. Yeah, there's no reason not to. 
just seeing if anybody's out here. I haven't seen anyone so far. And really, we're just looking for somebody in a... November 2, Papa Foxtrot. Thank you for the wavy far altitude to your discretion. Glider. Okay, we're going to climb to 4,500. Or a helicopter or somebody okay. without a transponder, Piper Cup. So this is going to be tough, man. There's not a whole heck of a lot of uh, horizon on this side. So um, you'll do your best. Cut you a little bit of slack for this today. Okay. But, I, I mean, you were doing these really well. So um, how about the idea that you do like three in one direction and then three in the other direction. I can do that, yeah. Just to warm up. Okay. So the horizon really disappears over here, so you're going to have to use your best skills. You can see where the horizon is through this haze, but it's a little tough. Okay. So let's get back to 3,000 so you got a nice altitude reference point. And what are you going to use for maneuvering speed with me and you? 98. And 98? Yep. Okay, I like that. Did anybody ever show you how to cal calculate the maneuvering speed between maximum gross weight and uh, minimum? Uh, not really. All right. I have a couple slides on that I can send you. Okay, there's your reference point. So. Keep an eye on Can that. Can I go really quick to where I need to be? To 3,000? Yeah, take your time. There's no rush. Oh, I mean, other than that you're spending six six dollars a minute or something. All right. I'm going to make it in six minutes then. Okay. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Um, I am leveling my plane. And so I can confirm there's no aircraft in the vicinity and all your pre-maneuver checklist is done. All okay. right. Sounds good. Uh, I am ready. Are you ready? I am ready. All right, so 30 degrees, 160, 30 degrees, bank angle, one and two and 45, and playing with my So I can already tell we're descending a little, so react quickly. There you go. So I could feel that as soon as you rolled into it. And, you know, you're, like I said, you're at a little disadvantage because you don't have a great horizon, but just work it the best you can. So now we're climbing a little, so just react again, just gently. Now we're descending again. And McGuire, 9 or 2 Papa Fox, level That's at right. 4.5, requesting permission through the Bravo. 2 Papa Fox, trout, roger that, then your handoff is still on request. I'll let you know when they take it. Here comes your river. Okay, standing by. There goes your river. Oh, I might have confused you. I said you were going to go the same. But this guy had roll right into your right hand. That's pretty good for no horizon. I'm going to okay. give you uh, a lot of credit because the horizon really disappeared there. So just do your best. Try and find the horizon. It's the where the gray meets the darker gray. I'm, it's almost completely gone right here. So you'll pick it up again when you point to Philly. There you go. It's coming back now. This is really nice though. You got a nice 45 degree bank. Just hold it there. This is beautiful. This is really nice. You're doing everything perfect. Keep that bank in though, just a little bit more. Don't try to cheat. No cheating in airplanes. Oh, this is beautiful, man. You got this maneuver down. So if you can do this with no horizon and me talking, you're gonna be fine. So don't blow through your rollout. Look up, look up at the... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And just roll right into another left one like that. That was real, dude, that was perfect. You didn't deviate more than like three feet. So we're, we're descending already just a hair, so just, there you go. Very nice. Look out the window and feel it a little bit. Very nice. Just use the best you can with that horizon. It's where the white meets the gray now. Oh, this is beautiful. I wouldn't do anything. You're just gonna drop right back down where you need to be. That's a nice 45 degree bank. Just pull back just a little bit to fix that. There you go. And look out the window, and there's your river. So well, approach, roll right up. 775 Quebec Sierra is it at 0,000 across subs at 7,000. That's an easy pass. November 775 Quebec Sierra, McGuire Approach, the McGuire Timber 3001. So, Double um, one, five Quebec Sierra. Huh. I'm almost afraid to do another one of those with you. <laughs> 
Let's go over to uh, Hamilton and do a soft field and a no flaps landing. And then okay. maybe we'll do one more set on the way back. Yeah. Well, we're going to do that at KMEX since we are right here. Oh, you're going to MJX? Yeah. It's that way, dude. All right, so let's do that. Okay, let me throw that in the flight plane. Just turn left. Um, so, ditch coil. Um, yeah, since we, we, we could do that since uh, that's where I'm going to be doing my soft field landing. And okay, that makes so. sense. Sir, before. So did I pass? Oh my God, that was awesome! I'm. Yeah, I mean that was very nice. Thank you. Okay, so I'm just gonna give you a direct to. Yeah, that that was actually stunning. I have to tell Gene when I get home. Okay, that's Coil. I mean that's uh, MJX right in front of you. Right, so so let's get your freak in there. Uh, one two two seven. One two two seven. Boy, it is beautiful. Look how green it is down here. Normally in winter it starts getting really brown, but this is like springtime it looks like. Yeah. Okay, I'm feeling a little slow right now yeah. because you're still in, you're still in, um, 98. Yeah, maneuvering speed. Yeah. Uh, sorry, MJX is directly in front of us right, well, it's, it's pretty far away yet. We're, um, okay. it says seven miles, but that's impossible, right? Am I looking at the wrong spot? Uh, that's that early. Oh, we're coil. coil. We, just, we just passed coil? No, it's in front of us. In front of us. How can that be seven miles? Okay. It's uh, not, it's 15 miles. Oh, because I got coil in front of it, sorry. So. And let me, do you know from memory what is the um, weather for them? It's the same freak, so. Same uh, frequency? Okay, so let me get a control. Uh, pretty, actually, you know what? That might not be right. Zero, three. Visibility one zero. It was right. Sky condition clear. Temperature is that it? One. You say that was the same as No, that's not, no I meant uh, two Celsius. I meant it's the same as uh, zero zero two. I'll give it to you real quick. Density altitude minus five hundred. One nineteen eight seven five. One nineteen eight seven five. Yep. Observation. Yeah, sorry. For some reason, I was thinking it was like Hamilton, but it's not. Altimeter, three, zero, zero, three. Remark, thunderstorm, information not available. Ocean County Airport. I, the, I mean, you're going to see when we look, the, the one to the right, I think. I don't think you were off by more than a foot. When we did the left, it wasn't, it was a little different than the right, but they were both like well, well, well within the, uh, standard so you heard what John said too I'll let you get the weather first then we can talk look at this is beautiful isn't it remark beautiful really thunderstorm information not available let me get my wet my wing ocean county airport automated weather observation two zero two zero Zulu wind calm sorry we got somebody right over top of coil at uh Sorry, they're at 11,000 feet, so yeah. that's a jet. Yeah, that's um, they're just using this for approach, and he's going away from us, so just see if we can find him. I don't see him anywhere, do you? Yep. Pretty far away. He's on the far side of the beacon. Nothing. Pretty hard to see. That high. Okay, so you got your wind. Uh, there's nobody down here. It's Christmas Eve, so we'll have to do a New Year's Eve flight. <laughs> if it is this cool, why not, right? <laughs> no, I always come out and do a New Year's flight. Yeah, that was a really, 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 really good steep turn. Thank you. I've been practicing. So, uh, coil, I mean, uh, coil's right there, obviously. MJX is up here. Yeah. I think we and you've done you've done uh, what did we just do? Two sets right there. Yeah. So while you're doing that, I'm just gonna write this down so I don't have to try and remember what we did. Good thing I have a um, GoPro because no one will believe your wife <laughs> will never believe. Oh, look at this. Got like a sticker on my... Heritage traffic. There you go. Uh, Sears just off of 2-8, uh, uh, crosswind departure to the north. Heritage. Sorry. 
So when it's calm, um, I had to pay attention to what runway are they using over there. Yeah, I see uh, nobody in the vicinity, so it's going to be probably you. Okay. So they have 40 and 32. Let's use runway 24. So what do we do? Two takeoffs back there. We did two takeoff, and you said that one was where a double, also for landing and uh, 20 degrees flaps. And no, the, the um, takeoffs are fine. Yeah. Oh, we got to do a go around. You're missing one go around, so let's do that down here. Okay. And Gene had you down for no uh, unsatisfactory on that, so all good. I said this was to be integrated into other maneuvers. So you've done more than those. We're going to sign off on that one. Cool. Thank you. And you read this null report? Yeah. I'm going to make you sign all that stuff. Thank you. Let's see your approach. It's going to be on the 24. DPS. So when you put your head down, you got to tell me. So I one of us. Putting my head down. Well, I, I have these six seconds where I don't get. Yeah, I just, but I'm like taking notes, so there's two of us here, so um, if you're going to put your head down, just tell uh, me, and I'll stop. I'm going to put stop. my head down really quick, okay? Okay, go for it. Okay, so peaceful, 2-4, uh, 45, and cut to the route. Why don't I just take the plane for a minute, okay. and you can do whatever you need to. I'm going to hold 2,500. Okay, and go. Done? Done, yep. Okay. The race is on there, Max. Got a United Airlines flight coming uh, toward coil right now. 14,000 feet. Man, you can't see anything up there, can you? I would think you'd be able to see a plane that big, but I got nothing. He's coming right at you from that direction. Do you see anything? Yeah, but he's probably hot. Wait, okay. it's 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 hotel, it's 10,000 feet of it. Okay, my head's down again, so yeah. you did uh, two. Soft field landings with me just now. So you did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of those. And steep turns, we just did two full sets, right? Yep. We might do one more on the way back. Sounds good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you've done ten of those. Ocean County, Idaho Hotel Romeo, downwind runway 32, Ocean County. Denver Regional. Yeah, so uh, three miles away. You're in good shape here, Chief. You got to do a go around just to make sure we got that down uh, right. Well, I tell you what, to make it natural, um, I'm gonna make some uh, landings here. You tell me what you know. Maybe the first one we do a stop, and then we do a ten, and then uh, uh, no la no flaps or whatever you want. And you tell me, you call it uh, go around, and I I execute the maneuver. That way I will know that you're going to call a go around. Oh, don't worry, you're not going to know when we're doing it, Chief. What do you think? Who do you think I just started doing this yesterday? <laughs> I'm the one who opened I your door. Not. I'm the one who opened your door when you hey, were flying I, the I plane. Saw, yeah, you did. Hey, I saw the, uh, you on the flight on the simulator. That was pretty cool. What simulator? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, Ocean County Traffic Center 9 Hotel Romeo Base Runway 32 Ocean County. Okay, so they're landing 32. Are you aware of that? No, but I will. Traffic, Canada, Canada, and now I am. Up for seven, so, what way were you going to land? I'm going to do 2-4, uh, but... Let's just see what the wind on the... Uh, I would just land 3-2. You're on a left uh, base for 3-2 already. Okay, so let me make my call here. But I'm 2002. Well, you still have three miles to go. Okay. 
there's no wind. Bridgetown traffic, Cincinnati Hotel Romeo, final runway 32, Ocean County. So 32 is that way, right? So he's in final, that's good. And it's a nice long runway, I don't know what the length is, but... Central Jersey traffic, Cincinnati Hotel Romeo, final runway 32, Ocean County. Yeah, Cincinnati Hotel Romeo, final runway 32, Ocean County. Yeah, Cincinnati Hotel Romeo, final runway 32, Ocean County. Yeah, Cincinnati Hotel Romeo, final runway 32, Ocean County. Yeah, Cincinnati Hotel Romeo, final runway 32, Ocean County. Yeah, Cincinnati Hotel Romeo, final runway 32, Ocean County. Yeah, Cincinnati Hotel Romeo, final runway 32, Ocean County. Yeah, Cincinnati Hotel Romeo, final runway 32, Ocean County. Yeah, Cincinnati Hotel Romeo, final runway 32, Ocean County. Yeah, Cincinnati Hotel Romeo, final runway 32, Ocean County. Yeah, Cincinnati Hotel Romeo, final runway 32, Ocean County. Yeah, Cincinnati Hotel Romeo, final runway 32, Ocean County. Yeah, Cincinnati Hotel Romeo, final runway 32, so you can just let him know you're on a uh, extended left base for 3-2. Ocean County traffic, Skyhawk 6262 is on an extended left base for runway 32, Ocean County traffic. And uh, you have the arriving traffic inside. Ocean County traffic, I have the traffic inside. Yeah, so you're still three or four minutes from landing. He's going to be on the ground in about 20, Jersey traffic 20 seconds. Crosswind 7, Central Jersey. All right, so let me prepare the plane then. Yeah. You don't want to get too jacked up with flaps here yet because you still have quite a bit of time to. You're going to get to uh, even the final. But you have a nice long straight in final, which is nothing wrong with that. All right. And what kind of landing is this going to be? Let's do a softly landing. Okay. And it's all of a sudden beautiful out here again. Uh, yeah. I don't see New York, though. Very nice. Ooh, a trap, trap shooting club is down there. Central Jersey traffic, can't wait. Okay. Downwind. Gums seven. check. Central Ready? Jersey. Yep. Car heat is on, and gas is on board. Make sure. Uh, make sure it's part of the gas. No, no, on the carriage. It's fixed. Uh, okay. Make sure it's rich aim. Uh, make, um, and um, power and um, um, propeller is fixed, power is set, and uh, seat, uh, seat belts and switches. Let's do this thing. And um, flaps. Flaps. So you can't put the flaps in really because we're. Well, little, I can't because it's. You got to turn or you're going to blow way through this. Okay. So you can, you can get this slowed down. You're, I'm going to grab the call. Ocean County traffic, 62862, we're on a two-mile final for runway 32. Hey, we're well, that I day. don't know what he's doing. He's, yeah, we're just, so we got to slow down here. So let's get some power out and, uh... Central Jersey traffic, arrow turning, base to final, seven. I think you can put the first notch in here at 115, right? Yeah, I can. This guy is, you know... I don't know if he was doing a stop and go here. Yeah, he looks like he's taking off again, doesn't he? Yeah. Ocean County 62862 is a uh, three quarter mile final. Got the departing traffic inside. Okay, no factor. He's making no radio calls whatsoever. So let's. And that was 99 Hotel Romeo. We're on the departure. We stay in the pattern for the region. Okay, so you're going to do a sh 10 degrees flat landing here? Or? I would dump them all if you're going to try and do a short field. So we really no, no, we're not doing short field, we're doing soft. I mean, I'm sorry, soft. So you got the whole runway, because we're going to probably be taxiing back unless you get this thing on the ground. So I'm going to check the cross runway. It looks clean to me. Keep that nose up. I like it, I like it. Let's let it drop. I'm going to take the plane. We can Your still plane. get out of here. We have. Okay, can you confirm the flaps are retracted? Flaps are retracted. I'm going to call that 50, 55. I'm going to go to 60, 60 and we're just going to do a gentle rotation. And I want to do a VX climb because I want to get over these trees. And we're clear of any trees. Just check for antennas. There you go. I'm going to give you the plane back. Flaps are up, mixture's full rich, carb heat's off. You can check your own trim wheel. Let me just make a call. Ocean County traffic, Skyhawk 62862, touch and go 32. We have the departing uh, crosswind traffic inside. Okay, you're playing. Ocean County traffic, County Hotel Romeo is crosswind, run by 32, Ocean County. High plate. Okay, that was nice. Yeah, that was a. Uh... So, did I pass so I know Gene didn't want you with that thing really high, but here's the problem. Doing this on asphalt, you know, that should be really simple. When you really do that on grass, you're going to decelerate. You're going to decelerate really quickly, and that nose is going to want to fall. You need to be thinking a lot about, because that, if that nose wheel drops into soft grass or dirt, 
you go right over. Correct. And that's the only reason we're practicing this maneuver. So I, I understand Gene's telling you you don't have to get it like doing a wheelie, but it is sort of a wheelie. Yeah. So, so that guy, let's see where he went. I think he's no factor, but you got to be really careful here. I saw him passing me. Yeah, he's at our same altitude and he's about a mile away, so just be aware. And you're at pattern altitude plus right now, I think, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 239 kilo, five miles straight in, runway 29, You're going to be, uh, yeah. I feel like we, if we went down there right now, Bill Whedon is down there and we could just grab him and make him take you around the Chester pattern County once. Traffic. Uh, is that uh, Sean departing Chester County? Ocean County traffic, Skyhill 6 by 6 on the downwind, runway 32 Ocean County. I see gone. Hang on, let's find this. Merry Christmas from Josiah, your old commercial student. So let's keep an eye out. I don't see him yet. He's right off your nose somewhere. Oh, I got him. Okay, see that. 99 Hotel Party Romeo. Gas. What? On the car. So, so, Hotel Romeo, you guys coming back in on 3-2? Victor Richie. Hey, affirmative. He's on a check ride, believe it or not. Copy that. We're going to uh, extend our left downwind for 3-2 and uh, let us know when you're on the ground. Thank you. Okay, yeah, he'll be touch and go on this one, so we won't be too long. No problem. Let's, uh, traffic, so he's on a check ride. The west, the last call, and Merry Christmas Let's to just you. come out a little yeah. bit, because you're going to be going way out here. Ocean County traffic, so Santa Hotel Romeo is left base, and we'll be turning final 3-2, uh, Ocean County. Oh, that's beautiful. He's doing his Christmas Eve check ride. Yeah. That's beautiful. That wasn't Bill, right? Uh, he says something about a student. No, I know, but that, that was the uh, DPE that was talking to me. The student was the guy who made the radio call. So I wonder who is the uh, DPE. That didn't sound like Bill to me, did it? Uh, I don't think so. And I don't think it was Steve. Yeah, so. But he says something about like Merry Christmas or something like that. Oh, what? Merry Christmas or something. Oh, that was somebody else. No, but that guy told me, he goes, I said, uh, Hotel Romeo, you coming back in on 3-2? And he said, yeah, it's his check ride, believe it or not. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna do my flaps now. Flaps yeah, now. we're not gonna make another radio call. Let me make this radio call because I don't want to screw this guy's check right up. All right, so just let me. Yeah, go ahead. I'm, no, I'm not even gonna make a call because I don't want to fluster him. So I'm just gonna keep an eye out. I know where he is. He's over the threshold right now. I don't want to say anything that could screw his check right up right now because nobody wants to have that problem on Christmas Eve. So what kind of landing do you want me to do this time? <laughs> a good one. I've been doing a good yeah. one. This you can do another short uh, soft field if you want. Mm -hmm. I like this. It, I mean, listen, if you can do a short field or a soft field. So let's intercept the extended runway center line way out here as far as we can. Ocean County traffic, Skyhawk 62862, uh, mile and a half final runway 32, departing traffic insane. Alright, then I think it's flaps. Okay, this is beautiful. Alright, I mean the localizer. That's not a localizer. No, not a localizer. It's a glide slope. That's the glide, glide slope. So yeah. there's a glide path and a glide slope. This is actually a glide path. Glide slope is the look, uh, ILS glide slope. This is a glide path indicator light. But that's okay, we don't want to get too technical, you know what you're doing. You just want to stay red and white, unless you have some reason not to. Ocean County traffic, that's another hotel, Romeo Crosswind, runway 32, Ocean County. My God, this is like absolutely stunning uh, approach you're doing. I'm going to write this one down as a, uh, well, so let's focus on the right rudder, left aileron, whatever you need. Look at the wind sock, it looks like it's light wind right down the runway, that's why they were using this runway. What do you want it to be? 
Ocean County traffic system on Hotel Romeo, downwind runway. I'm not going to do a go around here because this is like the best landing I've ever seen you do. <laughs> this is like the absolute most perfect glide path you've ever flown. So I want you to make sure you have enough right rudder in so that we're lined up. Okay. And you can make this soft field. God. All right, let's do a taxi back. You know, you can relax, relax. We're not in a hurry. Okay. We're just, you can take a rest now. That was real. Gene, if you're watching this video, Raphael's killing it. Uh, <laughs> I think this is a, an exit. Oh, no, you know what? There is an exit on the left. Yeah, I thought there was one here before, but I think they, uh, was there one here? I thought there was one here at one time, and they paved the, or put grass over it. And they built as the we have Bravo on the left. Oh, well, that goes nowhere that way. That's, um... Okay, so we're going to yeah, make a right. Yeah, we're going to go Bravo right. Um, I guess they're getting ready to build some more hangars down here or something, right? Yeah. So let's just uh, slow down here. Actually, this is Lima. Yeah. This is Lima to Bravo. Washington County, 62862, clear of 32 at Lima. Ocean County traffic, Sustainado Hotel Romeo, left base, runway 32, Ocean County. Okay, do me a favor. Yep. Read, read this, read yep. my after for me. Well, why don't we just stop and do it, just because uh, I don't want to get you any bad habits of doing this on the go. I got it. Ready? After landing, flaps up, mixture, lean for taxi, throttle 1000, carb heat off, lights, trim wheel set for takeoff. Ocean County traffic, Sustainado Hotel Romeo is Checklist complete. short final, 32, touch and go, Ocean County. I mean, you can go back to flying W right now if you want. Um, Let's do that. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to be running up a big tap for you. Um, I actually, I actually don't want to do another uh, <laughs> steep turn either. Because what if you screw the next one up? You're probably going to do one more practice anyway, aren't you? Yeah, that is going to be I like closer to the check ride. Well, that's that's what I was telling you. Um, Jing, apparently, Jing is not a maybe. What I do, even though it's four o'clock, I see if I. Can, I, I can no, get don't do, it, for don't do it that late in the day. Um, okay. So I'm off all this week. Are you? Oh, you're going to Florida. I'm going to Florida, yeah. So we have a cross runway here, so we have to be very careful. This yep. is runway 624. I'm going to maybe call uh, one side. Yeah. yeah, so let's just slow down just a little bit. You can make the call. We're going to cross okay. 624. Okay. And we should slow down and have a quick look. Yeah. I'm going to check the ADSB. Yeah. Ocean County traffic is Skyhawk 62862 is crossing 246. Ocean County traffic. Okay, nobody coming either direction, right? There's no, no jets no, on the ground. No, nothing, or, no. I don't see anybody on the ADS anywhere in the vicinity except the check ride traffic. Entering runway 624. We're not using that. Yeah, um,. I really am like, I don't want to do another steep turn because I don't want, you know, we don't have a good horizon and you just did two perfect sets. So yeah. I don't want you going home tonight with like a bad memory. So we're going to let the good one sink in, right? Okay. And then you got a video. Does so that sound like a good idea? Sounds like a good idea. Because you know it'll happen. Yeah, I get one bad. You'll get a bad one, one and then you're going to go home and feel like Fine. crap all week okay. and then you have to go to Florida and then I'm never going to. Sounds good. So we're going to use the whole runway here. So we're going to go past Mike and to whatever is after Mike here. Um, do you, can you check where is him? Yeah, I'm going to check for you. He's um, he's actually right here, I think. Ocean County traffic system at Hotel Romeo, downwind, runway 32, Ocean oh, County. No, he's, he's, just he's at the downwind. So you're probably at time. Let's just see right, where... So let me go before takeoff. Flaps as required. Make sure reach in. Car hit off. And lights as required. And fuel valve is in both. Heading indicator. Uh, and 21. And uh, transponder 1200. I just want to be careful uh, because um, if yeah. he's going to do like an engine out or okay. anything... So Let me make the radio call. Are you ready to go? I'm, I'm going to do my check. Boom, 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 boom. Bush County, 62862, immediate departure, runway 32. Let's get out of here.
he's there. Yeah, I just, good. Yeah. you know, if he pulls the power on him right now, he's got to come right to the runway, so it's... Right. Um, here we go. You ready? Here we go. Here we go. I'm ready. Here we go. <laughs> got my seatbelt on. you got a nice long runway. Um, okay. There is no indication right. there's any other aircraft we, on cross on. runway. This is our last chance to stop. Yeah. Look down to the right and to the, the left. left. Nobody it's around. 55, rotating. Beautiful. All right. Oh, there's a cardinal on the runway down there. BY. Hey, Let's go uh, uh, 2002 um, flying to Leo, if that's okay with you. I'm good. You're the pilot. Ocean County, Hotel, Hotel Romeo is base runway 32, Ocean County. Can you, um, I need to, I need to, um, block, either, either you give me some. Let's just, just depart 45 from the crosswind. Right, hold on a minute, let me, I, I need to be uh, 45, so that will be 27. See that radar ball out there? Uh huh. Just a little to the left of that, and you'll be fine. Okay. And then I'll give you, uh, you're going to miss McGuire and Lake, oh, you're going to miss Lakehurst here, and I can give you a direct. Ocean County, 62862, departing 45 from the crosswind. Uh, good luck with the check ride. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, thank you. See that? All right, direct two. Direct two. You are uh, five degrees to the right, so let's go five degrees to the left, then you're on a good heading to Miss McGuire by uh, inches. And that'll put you right on flying W, and you can figure out what you're doing after that. I'm just here for the ride. Okay. Um, can you look outside while I uh, check my iPad? I am looking outside, okay. no Clear. matter what you're doing. All right, I'm going to be, while you're doing that, I want to get some protection for my eyes here. Why don't I take the plane, and I'm going to put plane. us back on uh, just a little left heading. Okay. Your plane. Got it. I have the plane. Thank you. Are we going to 2000? We're going to do 2000. One thousand nine hundred for two thousand. We'll keep the climb going. Let me know when you're ready. I will. I'm ready. You're ready. You're playing. I play. You want some of this? That will be lovely. Thank you. Getting hot in here. Yeah, that was uh, that was all good. Yeah, I have it. What I'm gonna do, Paul? Um, if there is any anybody that is available that you will recommend any of the other instructor, because Gene is taking, you're not gonna be here for on the eighth. Um, well, I can make Gene take, give you uh, watch your heading uh, unless you have it. I just don't want to get in McGuire's airspace. Okay. We're just gonna miss it if you stay on. Uh, yeah, there you go. So um, I could talk to Gene. Um, Chris, I don't think Chris is going to be around. Okay. Um, there's plenty of people there that could do it. Uh, here's my problem, though. What I don't want is somebody coming out giving you like, oh, I, I don't like to do it with trim. I like okay. to, you know. All right. Let's see if, if Gene can accommodate me um, that day somehow. Well, we're gonna we're gonna figure something out. Don't worry. Because I think it will be it will be nice. So. I just don't want you to go. Am I okay following the magenta line or not? Yeah, the magenta line, um, we might have to do like a really small correction, but do you have one on yours? Or I you have one on here, yeah. Okay. You did a direct too? Yeah, I did a direct yeah, yeah, I mean, we, when we get a little closer to McGuire, I might just give you a little yeah, left stuff, good. but this is good. Yeah, so if, um, when's your check ride? The 9th? The 9th, yeah. Okay. Sunday so that's, the you know. So, we so you're going to Florida, you should just totally relax down there. Mm -hmm. Unless, of course, you find some flight school and you decide I'm going to go fly for an hour. Yeah. 
I don't think so. Okay. So how long are you going? A week or five, gonna, day, yeah, five days? Yeah, and, and, and returning on the fourth. And are you flying down there? No. Uh, yes, I'm flying over there. How are you getting there? By plane. So you know they're canceling these flights like I crazy know, because uh, yeah. I don't I don't know if the flight attendants are doing like a walkout or this is really you know everyone's getting COVID or they're just saying hey screw it. So if I if they cancel my flight, I'm gonna drive there. Oh okay. Well, so you get back on what day? I'm, I'm getting back on the third. Uh, and flying back on the third, so starting the port will be available. On the third, you're back. So I'm leaving, I think, on the uh, third. Yeah, leaving on the third. Yeah, and I'm, I'm going to do my ATP thing, so I'm not going to see you cool. before that. Yeah. Congratulations. I hope so. Yeah. I hope it's going to be cool. I did all the pre-work, except for, you know, I still got a week left. That's going really well. That's why I was over at the simulator, just getting used to the flight director, practicing some... Uh, approaches with the flight where, director. Where do they have that uh, simulator? Where do you go for it? It's uh, Legacy Aviation at KPNE. Okay. Really, really, really nice simulator. KPNE. Yeah, I'm going to be spending, I'm going to be going there a lot. How much is how much is the hour in there? I think it's like $100. So the, here's the difference. The simulator is rather expensive, but it's a good one. Yeah. But, you know, if you're doing instrument practice, you can shoot six approaches in an hour, whereas in a plane you might get one or two if you're lucky. So you can do three or four times as much work in a, in a two-hour session. I did like two and a half hours and Central, I got like morning, crosswind my whole Central. IPC done almost. I was really excited about it. I mean, usually a good simulator like that has always been hard to find because they just weren't available. And I don't, we're getting some really crazy uh, weather coming in here. Yeah. That's a good thing we're heading back. It's just got, the visibility's so gone. Jersey Cardinal turning down wind to five, Let's go back to McGuire, if you don't mind. Um, nothing between us and the airport, except that sun beating on us. One, one, nine, three, two, five, three, two. Three, two. One one Celsius. Dew point minus zero one Celsius. Altimeter three zero zero two. Remarks. Density altitude minus five hundred. Automated weather observation two zero four niner Zulu. Wind calm. Visibility one zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature one one Celsius. Dew point minus zero one Celsius. Altimeter three zero zero two. Remarks. Density altitude minus five hundred. Automated weather observation two zero five zero Zulu. Wind calm. Visibility one zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature one one Celsius. Dew point minus zero one Celsius. Altimeter three zero zero two. Remarks. Density altitude minus five hundred. Okay, listen, I love you, but I don't want to hear this again. You got it. <laughs> two. That's like bad enough when it's important. Okay, so um, it's like really AC. decent visibility until here, and then this whole quadrant. Actually, it's more than the quadrant. It's this whole northwest quadrant plus maybe even up toward the north but whatever this is is blowing in from the Pocono direction yeah. and the visibility is going down really quickly and I don't see anything on the weather so let's just see what uh, overlays we got here so let's do the my landing and off flap landing what do you think uh, that can work because I, I did, oh, I can do a 10. So I, I did a 30, I did a 20, I can do a 10. Well, to be honest, let's just do zero. This is zero, okay. JetBlue 2226, contact New York approach, 128.55, Merry Christmas. Okay, we're looking down the short runway at McGuire right now, so 
That means we're right a beam here. Yeah, I try I try to open myself a little bit. To yeah, no, that's away. good. That works. So what runway did we depart from? I can't remember. One, one. We left on one, yeah. so you know how to get back in on one, right? Yeah. We'll just go ahead and add that. Since we're using four flight and it's for cheaters. <laughs> four flight right. for cheaters. Oh my God, this is just horribly <laughs> simple. Runway one, 45, add to root. Yeah, I just, you don't even have to know how to fly anymore. You just follow these oh, lines. <laughs> Not even funny. <laughs> You don't even have to know where the airport is. It puts you right on final. Oh, GPS does that. Yeah, this isn't even this isn't even really flying anymore. <laughs> Pretty soon they'll have like an Uber driver doing this. <laughs> All right, where are we? We're still a little ways out, right? Yeah, we are. Cranberry Bogs, and what is it? Eight miles out. Uh, Guessing yeah, that's uh, our uh, Vincent Town Water Tower, and that's our. Yeah, I think it's nursery right, right. right there. Yeah. McGuire is just off our back of our right, right wing. Yeah, we are so lucky, man. I mean, it could be snowing out right now. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. God, there's some crazy stuff down here. I would love to fly this plane across the United States. Maybe not this one, but. Probably need something a little bigger with a turbocharged engine. Yeah. My plane would be fun, except we would have to find some really low passes. Kind of takes all the fun out of it. I'm gonna start my descent. Okay. McGuire approach, uh, November 209, Quebec Sierra is out of 8.2 for 7,000. There are 209 Quebec Sierra McGuire approach, the McGuire Timber 3001. 3001, 209 Quebec Sierra. A lot of commotion in that. Uh, so somebody set this thing up wrong too. They got they got the um, north up instead of track up, which drives me nuts, man. Uh, and somebody really screwed it up because north up. So I just set this in the other plane. I think we hit, is it enter? Nope. Push to select or something like that. This button doesn't work, so it's not that one. Enter. November 209, Quebec Sierra, descend and maintain 6,000 proceed direct Robinsville. 6,000 direct Robinsville, Quebec Jet 209. So I got my head down, so you're flying. I'm flying. There it is. Cut. Bang. Track up. Enter. Enter. Okay. So now we got a nice track up. I don't know why people put north up in there, but I guess some people, that's how they think. I can't fly with that north up on. You all done your Christmas shopping? I am done with the Christmas shopping, yeah. I sort of am, sort of not. I think I'm just going to be done, and then I'll do some more on Sunday or whatever day. It's the day after today. Saturday, Mon Sunday, Monday. I just don't need any. Okay, so you got somebody on crosswind, runway one. So it's, you're going to come out to this uh, intersection with the 45 north west of Allen Field, right? Yep. And uh, what do we got? We got an antenna tower at 250 feet MSL, so we'll be careful of that. I don't even know where that is. So 
So we're at 1,150. That's good. Flying up the traffic, warrior turning downwind. The one flying up. Okay, so you got a warrior on crosswind to downwind. You got 2549 Yankee, which I think is um, the other 172 from Ascent. Arrow on a uh, downwind turning right base for one. On the reach has exactly, he's turning right base for night one flying There we go. Okay, so they'll both be out of your way when you get there. Just watch your altitude. Yep. Just hang here. And we're going to do a no-flap landing, huh? Let's do a no-flap landing. W traffic track for the Nike on one final runway one point of view. Point of view traffic is Kyle 62862 uh, entering the 45 for runway one flying W. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of these for you. Nice. Wow. That four flight cheating really works, doesn't it? It does actually. Jeez, Pretty cool. Ew. You should get an instrument rating flying when you, the traffic when you buy right four flight. One, flying W. Okay, we got a guy on right base and a guy over the threshold, so you're all clear here. Guy on short final coming over the numbers, and a guy out here somewhere on right base. You see the right base traffic? You should just, just be below the horizon somewhere. So I think one o'clock. Yeah, no, he's right in front of you somewhere. Let's just go ahead and turn downwind yeah. and you'll avoid him at all costs. Yeah. Line W traffic, it's going to 6262 on the downwind to runway 1, flight W. Got him. He's down low. Line W traffic, warrior turning on final, runway 1, flying W. He's just by that smoke. Uh, so I'm going to start my C, car hit. Yeah, just, you just turn way out of the yeah. pattern here. Let's right. just come back a little yeah. bit. There you go. Car hit. Um, let me get my... I need the... One or two flaps, and car hit, and then gas is made. So it's not turn. He's on. Uh, he's on short final, so you uh, can turn anytime uh, you want now. Uh, the car is fixed. Makes I thought we were doing no flaps. Go ahead and do a full regular flap landing. Are we'll, you sure? Yeah, yeah. Let's do no flaps. No, no. Do a full flap landing because right. you never know so, what might happen. And um, makes so look, look at our nose attitude, yeah. though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, power and, and progress, okay, and then sit down on switches and flaps. I need the green arc so I can put my too much flaps. Um, Flying W traffic, is Skyho 6262, uh, turning base, runway 1, Flying W. And it's like really clear, so check the down, uh, final there. Looks yep. good, right? No traffic on the final. Flying up traffic warriors on the go, one flying up. Flying W traffic is going to 6262 turning final, runway one, flying W. So we trip, here's the party center, northbound. Okay, you're established at 450 feet. Full flaps, power set, airspeed is 76. Flying down the traffic, warriors right crosswind, runway one flying up. This all looks good, right? Yeah. So you want to do a soft field? Let's do a soft field, yeah. Okay. Oh, I see two coyotes and a uh, a whole flock of geese go around. Up the traffic, warriors turn right around. down with runway one flying up. Okay, very good aircraft control. So you want to hold straight and level until you know you have a uh, positive rate and full okay. power and car okay. beat off, and then I can pull one watch a flap yep. right away. Yep. Looks really good. Positive rate, yeah. beautiful airspeed yeah. above VX. Flying W traffic is kind of six two eight six two go around. Flying W. So let's go way out to give this guy. He's uh. He's right here, so we don't want to turn early. 
Let's just go out for about 30 seconds. There you go. All right, well. So what you did that was correct was you didn't like, you know, pull the nose up. You held the nose nice and steady because you got to get the little bit of airspeed and get your bearings. And we had lots of runway in front of us. So if it's an emergency, you got to pull up. But you were already at a good altitude to just take your time for a second. So you flew straight and level until you knew you had some airspeed. And then you just gradually started going up and you took your because if you do it all at once really fast and you pull the nose up and you're still, you know, slowed down, you're just going to have nothing but trouble. That was good. Thank you. Yeah, that was very safe compared to some of the other ones that we've done in the distant past. So let's just go land this thing. You can do a zero flap landing, so okay. we're going to keep it. Okay, so we're going to the trick with the uh, zero flap landing is going to be you're going to have to get slowed down a little. And this could happen if your flap motor breaks, right? Go ahead. You look down and your circuit breaker's out and you don't have any flaps available. Um, so you're going to have a different look while you're on final. And you're going to want to slow the plane down. And you don't want to land halfway down the runway because you're going to be going really fast. You're going to be still going 70 or 80 knots if you're not careful. Flying W traffic, Sky 6062 on the downwind to runway 1, Flying W. Okay, car hit is on. And gas is on board, undercarriage is fixed, mixture is rich in. And, and no flaps. Uh, yep. And uh, power and propellers fixed, power is set, and seat belts and switches, seat belts are good. So. Good correction. Warriors on the go, on the right one, flying W. Warriors, if you have to have one, you can the pattern, flying W. Okay, this guy, I don't know if he's doing his run up. He looks like he's uh, moving on to the runway. You got plenty of time so far. Okay. So you got no flap, so, you know, you could give yourself, you do have power, so you could give yourself a little extra final approach. Okay, that's probably as far as you're going to get. Flying W traffic, Skyhawk 6262, turning base, runway 1, Flying W. Yeah, once you go past that Wawa parking lot, you're pretty much, uh, you're on a straight end. So just check your final, look back, look back. Nobody coming blasting in there, right? Look at the water tower and fill it up again. I'm just going to hold your flap to zero there. Flying W62862, base to final runway one, parting traffic in sight. Okay, so nice. And do you see what happened right away was, so don't let your nose come up too high. We, uh, we're going a lot faster than you're used to right yes. now. And that's why you blew through there. So. That's one good lesson of a no-flaps landing. Flying W traffic is coming 6 6 2 short final, runway 1, flying W. So our airspeed's still 100, so take some power out, just lift your nose a little, and that'll even more, even more. I'll just lift the nose. There you go, see what's happening. It's going to take 20 seconds or 15 seconds for that speed to bleed off, so you got a lot of up elevator left. So I'd start working the power back and use... So the copy, top 37, 30 is uh, oh, maneuvering power, you got it. over the reservoir, 3,500 climbing, 4,500. Wow. So you, you, you'll be fine here. A little bit of right rudder. And let's get a little closer to the ground. We're still a little bit high. Oh, you're doing a uh, soft field here? Yeah. Okay. A little skid there. Okay, so you did a no flaps, soft field, 
I didn't know you were doing that. Jeez, so I didn't even know that existed. <laughs> so did you hear the, uh, that was your camera, buddy. Oh. Yeah, you, here, let's uh, slow this up. That little skidding. <laughs> I shouldn't, I shouldn't tell you this, but I didn't know you were going to try and do a short field, a soft field with, uh, with that kind of airspeed, because you might be going to Florida with no GoPro. That's okay. It's a cheap one. <laughs> it was in the, um, it was in the plastic case, right? Yeah. Did I hit it over there? Oh, you definitely hit it. I heard the noise. You didn't hear that? No. I thought it was the, uh, skeg, you know, the tail strike, uh, there's a little plate, that bent plate under the hook back there. Uh -huh. I thought that's what hit, but we weren't really that high. But your camera sticks down about four yeah, inches. It does, yeah. Yeah, and it, now I think about it, it sounded like plastic, so. That's shocked. Well, might be a good film. <laughs> you ran out of batteries. <laughs> you ran out of batteries about 15, 20 minutes ago there, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think your camera's going to be, uh, looks different. If, if it's even still on there, it might be on the runway. I'll check that with Mark. I didn't tell you to do soft field then. <laughs> no flaps landing. I wanted to show up before Christmas. Yeah, good job. <laughs> good job. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, we don't have any flaps. You can just kill the heart. car. P. There's nobody here today. Look how dark it is. Of course, only only pilots would be dumb enough to fly on 4, 410 on Christmas Eve. Yeah, now I'm really excited to see what you did to your camera. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, so you did like one, two, three, four here, and three over there. So we got plenty of landings in. That was all good. Flying out of traffic, warning of Bernie Crowman, one flying out I'm going to turn this GoPro off because there's nothing else good happening here, right? Line of view traffic, Skyhawk 1 in Yankee, 